What's up, now? It's me, 18 Wheels. All right, back with another video. All right, now, what's going on right now? I'm in the shop at, in Denver, Colorado, at UZ Auto Transport Shop. So, company got their own, got their own in-house mechanics. They're pretty decent. They're really decent. They know about the uh, car hauling equipment. So, I feel like, you know, everything is going to be all right once they get done with it. So, now the first run, let me flip the camera around. Flip the camera around. So, okay, now the first run I did when I went, I done, when I went down to Florida, uh, it was like a practice run. They kind of had an idea on some of the things that they needed to get done on this truck. So, it'll be up, you know, up the standards to where I can... Well, we can make make money without it without it breaking down uh, so right now the mechanics are going over everything that I noted because I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking they kind of knew about what was wrong with the truck with this truck particular truck this Western star but they needed uh needed me to do a run in a truck so we could find out everything is wrong with it you know it's like when you get a truck you kind of like can see little things that might be wrong with it but you need to run it to actually really find out what it really needs so my truck i made a list and uh they're going down the list uh fixing some of the things and here's the best thing about it about this shop right here they notice things that's wrong with the truck that i don't even see so it's a good thing that the truck is in this shop right here so when i leave and i uh go on the road to haul cars you know make money uh everything will go smooth because that's the main part about um uh, about this uh about this truck especially car hauling because these trucks and trailers got so many different parts integral parts that that move up and down and it has more than a van trailer it has more than a reefer trailer so it's a lot of little things you gotta keep an eye on with one of these trucks that's why you know uh they're kind of expensive to work on so i noticed like on my company like if something go wrong with it most of the time when they go into a facility to get something a repair done on the sh uh, on the on the truck on the road it's not in the hundreds with these type of trucks it's up there so what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do when i get get uh uh when they get done with the truck what i want to do is take the truck to a truck wash so they can like really clean it uh, the areas that I see let me let me get up in here All right I'm gonna climb in here real quick now the areas that I see that need to be clean on this truck far as uh you know the uh actually actually uh it need to be clean on this truck it's not just the way it look you know you can see the dirt and stuff on it but that's not what I look for when I go to a truck wash with a truck and trailer like this. You see all this sand that's up in here? This stuff right here. This is heavily up in here. I'm going to have to get the blue beacon. Whenever I get to get to the blue beacon, I'm going to have to get them to spray all that out of there. See all that? That's caked up sand and grit and dirt so the thing about that if that's not cleaned out on a regular basis that sand and grit can can uh actually compress and it'll compress really tight on these hoses and it can actually scrape little holes inside the hose and cause those hoses to leak and that right there I, i've been through uh a, a, a breakdown like that when the actual holes come loose or it or it breaks or gets or get cut or just you know what i mean it uh it start leaking and they have to take i have to take the truck 
to an actual specialist. Somebody who specializes in these type of hoses because you can't you can't just put any hose on here. You can't put any type of clamp on here because it'll come loose. It'll, it'll come loose as soon as pressure hits it. And when I'm raising these ramps up right here, like these ramps, and I'm raising these ramps up because this is like one solid deck. You know, it's not actually split up like like a high rail trailer is. A high rail trailer got different, uh, uh, it has different uh, uh, decks. You know, it's cut up, like cut up in three three sections on top. Some trailers are, but this one is like one solid deck. So if I got a, a deck of cars up here, say if I got two pickup trucks and uh two pickup trucks and a uh 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 an actual four-door sedan something small the pressure the pressure is very very high when it comes to me hitting these these uh these right here these levers and uh it goes through these hoses the pressure is really really heavy so actually i had a um uh, a video where they had tried to fix it and they used an the alligator clip to kind of like try to so the holes won't come loose but i didn't know at the time that they did that they fixed it in that manner and um when they fixed it like that i didn't know if i would have seen them do that i would have told them immediately that's not gonna work because of the pressure you know this is like you you lifting you lifting like 20 tons up in the air. Well, yeah, like 20 tons, a thousand pounds is one ton. And each car is what? Like five, maybe four or 5,000 pounds. So you, you lifting close to 20 tons up in the air. And that that is a lot of pressure. So I always keep an eye on those hoses and try to keep these like this grit, these rocks. Right here, hauling brand new cars from um, out of the rail yard or something like that. These rocks or, you know, coming from the distribution center, these rocks will chip chip the uh, paint on the cars. You know, that's what it does when I'm going down the freeway. And and actually, how it, how it works is when, see, you see all this is caked up. All this got to come out. I got to get them to clean all that out that is not supposed to be right there and then plus here here's another thing and plus if something go wrong with one of these wires it's going to be extremely hard to kind of like find and pinpoint where the brake is at so that's got to be done uh but right now i think i'm gonna be all right once they get done with the truck and trailer i'm gonna be all right uh made a list and that's the only thing we can do is uh you know just kind of like keep an eye on it and uh when something go wrong only thing i can do is just get a company you know notify the company and let them know what's going on and uh when i get back to denver they can fix it as long as i can i can ride with it because sometimes things go wrong with the truck and i can't <clears throat> things will go wrong with the truck and i can't drive it you know due to uh due to uh uh you know uh things that that actually won't let me move like say like a uh say like something go wrong with uh 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 i don't know i ain't gonna say transmission because i had that happen but you know something is small go wrong with like one of these ramps like with the hoses or something like that that that'll keep me from delivering cars because i can't lift the ramps up or you know work them so you know everything gotta be checked out and here's another thing i i, I noticed uh with these trucks if the turns if like your light system act up that right there can shut could be a big problem too excuse me uh yeah that can be a big problem too if the light system go out i can still move the truck but i have blind spots on this truck where i can't see like if a car get in a certain position on this truck, uh, let's see, I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> Wait. 
Wait a minute, I'm gonna show you right here. So if a car gets right here in this position, if a car gets right here in this position right here, riding alongside of me, I cannot see that car. So that kind of like, you know, uh, throws me off. And they won't be able to know if my turn signals are not working. You know, if my lights, lights are acting up. That's why it's, it's like really important to keep this truck, keep a truck, a truck like this clean. You know, the trailer, the trailer part really. I mean, that is very important. So, I'm just waiting for them to get done. And then once they get done, I'll load up and, uh, you know, make that money. You know, do what I got to do. So, oh well. So, I'm going uh, all right, look, check the, my electric PTO on the trailer. The reason why it wasn't, work, wasn't working, because this right here, I guess was uh, probably broke up on the inside, or maybe one of the wires came loose, but they, he took and put a whole new piece in there. So my electric hoist will work. Now that electric hoist, I can use that instead of using my PTO to raise the ramps up and down um i think i'm gonna use the electric hoist more than the pto you know maybe i need to ask somebody about that but i think it, i'll be okay you know it, it, one of them is gonna be for the backup but i think that uh, electric hoist would be pretty decent so we'll find out how this work when i get on the road these they don't have any of these in stock so this is going to be really bad if something fly from up under here and hit one of my hit one of the cars that's the that's the bad thing about it if you don't have that that cover right there that cover right there protects the cars that's right here it's right here so oh well gotta wait Okay, I need these. They don't have any these in stock. So this is going to be really bad if something fly from up under here and hit one of my hit one of the cars. That's the that's the bad thing about it. If you don't have that that cover right there, that cover right there protects the cars that's right here. It's right here. So oh well, gotta wait. I'm gonna end this video right here and uh, I'll get with y'all in the next video. To all you truckers out there, y'all be blessed, be safe, and um, peace to everybody. All right. Let me see. I'm just trying to. Got that Detroit motor. See. I'm gonna steal somebody ladder off their truck. Ooh, if I could find a truck. Hey, is that your truck? No, my truck's right there. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about stealing that ladder, man. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Who truck is this? Damn, he locked that bitch. Ooh, he's smart. Smart, smart. He locked. He got a lock right here. Damn, I was gonna take this bitch. Ah, he locked that motherfucker. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm.